Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use PhotoP to create your packaging design dice strike. So the first thing you want to do is click on new project and then you could call this die strike and you don't want to use this social you want to select print and you see what this does is it changes to these different sizes and I would pick 11 by 17 ledger also I would like my width to be 17 and my height to be 11 so I'm going to use this little button to switch that over you can see over here switch that to that ratio the other thing to keep in mind is it changes it to 300 dots per inch which is a better resolution for printing so you always want to make sure that you're th at least 300 okay and we're gonna hit create all right so the first thing we want to do is make sure that out every all of our inputs are in inches so we're going to go to image and then image size and see right here it's in px means it's in pixels but i want to turn this into inches it makes things a lot easier moving forward hit okay and then also in edit you scroll down you'll see preferences make sure that this ruler unit is in inches also this one happens to already be in inches so we'll keep that all right so now you're ready to start your die strike the first thing you need to know is the size of your package and it's best to figure out what your front panel is going to be and what your depth is going to be so i'm going to make my front panel three inches wide by four inches high and to do that I'm gonna hit my shape rectangle tool and I'm gonna drag it click and drag and make the width about three by four approximately next thing you need to do is change your stroke up here and your fill so I'm going to take my fill and change it to none. This X usually means there's no fill. And then my stroke is what the stroke is the line that goes around the shape. I'm going to make it black. So if I just click on the color, it'll give me this little symbol for black. And then this, the 4.4 .4 point means the stroke width. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker just so we could see it maybe like maybe about six yeah we'll do that we'll keep this the same this is your stroke how it's situated straight line we'll keep that the way it is okay so now you have your shape right here it, it made a new a new uh, layer we're gonna go to our profile uh, properties I'm sorry and we're gonna change it two three that's the width and the height we're going to change to four see that what it did well very very important make sure you check off keep aspect ratio do that first because what happens is when you change one it automatically changes the other to keep it in the same ratio i don't want that so it I'm four high, but I, it changed me to 2.86. I'm going to redo that three. Okay. And then click off there. So now I have a box that is exactly three by four. And that is my front panel of my package. I have those two sizes. The next size I need is my depth. So how deep is this package going to be? And I'm going to create a side panel to create that depth. So in order to do that, I'm going to right click on my shape layer here, and I'm just going to duplicate layer. See, it made a copy of that layer. And I'm going to use my move tool. If I hold down shift, I could drag it right across there. And I go back to properties. So how 
deep do I want this package to be? I want to do one and a half, so 1.5. And that's my other panel. I'm going to go back to this one, move it over a little bit, see what it does. There we go. Don't mind this. It's kind of not showing the edge there, but it's there. The next thing you want to make sure you do is to rename your layers. So this was my front panel layer, right? I'm going to double click and just wrote front. This one was my side. Right. I'm going to go back to my front layer and I'm going to right click and duplicate this layer again. There's my front copy. I will name this top. So this will be my top layer. Very important. Your top layer, your top panel. I'm going to move it up right there. I'm going to go to properties. Your top panel has to be the same height as the width as your side panel. These two will meet together when they fold in. So we made the, the width in there 1.5, which means we have to make the height 1.5. It has to match. Otherwise, it's not going to line up correctly. OK. So here we have our top, our front, and our side. I want to make more pieces to this. So I'm going to start with my side panel again. And I'm going to duplicate this one more time. And I'm going to call this my dust flap. This will be the flap that goes on the inside of the carton. And I'm going to make it, we can make it 1.5. I'm going to move it up. So it's, no. and then I'm going to copy this one again, duplicate layer. Let's move it down to the bottom. So these are my two dust flaps. Okay. So I have my dust flap copy and my side. I'm going to select all three of these layers. By doing that, I hold down shift and all these layers can be selected. I'm going to right click and I'm going to merge these layers. So it makes one layer for the side, one nice layer. I'm going to go back to my top layer and I'm going to duplicate that one. I'm going to go to my properties and then the height I'm going to make 0.75, three quarters of an inch. And this is going to be my tuck flap. I'm going to move this up to meet the top. So this would be my tuck flap here. This goes into the carton where it folds. I'm going to take these two and merge them. My tuck flap and my top. Merge layers. And then I'm going to do another duplicate. Okay. This says top copy, but I'm going to name it my bottom. And then I'm going to go to Image, Transform, Rotate 180 degrees. I want to flip it. Let it undo. Let's turn. OK, I made one little error there. Didn't mean to do Image. I should have done Edit. Two different things edit transform 
rotate 180. That edits just the layer. There we go. And then I'm going to move this down so it lines up with the bottom of my carton. Okay, and I'm going to select my top layer and I'm using the keyboard increment down just to line it up down. Okay, so right now I have bottom, a top, a front panel, and a side panel. I could duplicate this side panel and just drag it across to make the other side panel. So let's drag this guy. And I'm gonna select this layer. See that? Now we're almost complete. We almost have our whole die strike here. I'm going to duplicate my front again, and I'm going to move it all the way over here. Now, the front is going to now be my back panel. I'll call it back. Since the back has to be the same exact size as the front, we just copied and pasted it. One last thing we need to do is create a glue flap. A glue flap goes on the side here, and it's the only part of the carton that gets glued. So the best thing to do is duplicate this again. We could call it glue, just so you know what it is. Flap. And then we'll move it over here. And typically these are don't have to be too big. So I'm going to make this three quarters of an inch, which is 0.75. Move it back this way. No. Okay, so right now we have everything we need to lay out our design into the die strike and fold the carton correctly. So what I'm going to do here is select all of my layers and I'm going to merge them, right? So I have my die strike, I could turn off my background. And here's my die strike right here. Now we can add layers and start moving in graphics. Eventually, we will never we'll not print this layer. We will turn it off before we print, so you don't want these die strikes to show up in your print. Make sure you save. Save it as a PSD file. This way you can open it later on when you need it.